A city destroyed and under siege. But this isn't fictional. This is wartime in Syria. The documentary Last Men in Aleppo follows the work of the White Helmets, who are volunteer paramedics and rescue workers during the ongoing war. They find themselves sieged without food, without hope, and without medicine for their children and for their families. And this group of the people is volunteer in the White Helmets. They're doing the uh, kind of the work, the civil defense work, firefighters, but mostly because it's war times, try to help and saving the, uh, the, the families and ch children or the, the victims. And through these people that help a lot of Syrians to fill in the hope and provide us a very close picture for the impact of the war over the citizen of Syria. Why did you feel so compelled to make this film? I saw in front of me the distractions, no hope. This is my city and the, where I grew up in, 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 in this place, where, where, where my childhood, where the street that I, I, I remember playing football here. So this is the, the city of my, 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 my memories. So to be the director of a film as that city is destroyed before your eyes, how was that for you? When you make a story about your country and about, about your city and about the people that you know, it's more harder because this is, will be follow you all over your life. The hardest part to see the people die in front of you and you couldn't do anything. This is the hardest part because you, you can't find any solution to stop that. But you know, when we're talking about the impact of one bump, we're talking about the impact of the sound, how much is strong. Even the, some, sometimes some children die because the, 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 how much the, the, strong, the sound is strong. And, and that, you can't, you can't forget it. But the film hasn't been without controversy. Fayed has been accused of being one-sided against the Russians and claims to have found himself at the centre of an online smear campaign, painting him as a terrorist sympathiser. You say it's not one-sided, it's not a political film, but you have had criticism. So do you want to address that criticism? I started not from, uh, from political idea. I started as a, like, as an idea about how you can survive in facing the war machines, whatever is the war machines. And in the films, we saw a scene, obvious scene, about the one of the car bombs sent by ISIS to the civilian area. And I show that. But my films is not explained with the words and with a, with a journalistic way. My films is a story about this is people. And I, while not addressing every things in the film to say like, this is Russian flight, this is Syrian regime flight, and this is ISIS car. I'm, I didn't do this as journalistic way of telling the story. I tell this story in this is way, and this is my way for telling the story. You've been nominated for Best Documentary Feature at the Oscars. What does that mean to you? Um, I'm so humble for this nomination. And this is the first Syrian films that get nominated, produced and directed, produced films and directed films get nominated made by Syrians get nominated for Oscar and that's and that's very important in this time in the history of Syria. It's also open a glimpse of the hope for many independent filmmakers who who just pick up their cameras with small budget. You can do whatever you want, just make a story that matters. Whether or not this documentary wins the Oscar, Fayed says the main thing is that people across the globe see the true impact of the war on his country. Francis Reed, TRT World, Los Angeles.